boom, I get hit. But because I'm so tall, the Vespa just shot out from between my legs and I was just left standing like this, like Wiley e. Coyote. You've been here before. It, many times, yes. You have. Never been here. I've never been here. You have, well welcome. Thank you. We're happy to have you here. We always give out swag. Oh, good. Two people. Last time you were here, I think you missed out on the big grand prize, but you did get an apple. So in the spirit of the film, because your character is looking for a sign, you look very skeptical right now. I don't remember getting anything from you. <laughs> well, you're about to get swag <laughs> you this time. raised the bar. I, I did. I some yeah. good stuff. Well, your character in the film is looking for a sign. Absolutely. I was on the truck. The truck came here. Now you're here. I was meant to have a meeting with Destiny. And so in the spirit of that, and you're also a bit of pothead. I, we yeah. have a sign for you. Thank you. And so it's you, two signs in one. It yeah. is Look. actually, and that is for you. Uh, okay, great. Or if you want to, you know, you could always multi-purpose. Good. Just out of curiosity, what did you give to the Hunger Games people? <laughs> Spears. <laughs> First of all, I'm gonna start with a Twitter question okay. from one of your fans. Angie Norris wants to know. Angie, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know Angie. Have you ever had a moment that happened because of chance or fate? Well, chance and fate are are the opposite, aren't they? Like, wow. I mean, I don't. That's getting deep. Ed. Well, I just it's chance or fate. Yes, one or the other. So, are you calling out Angie's question? I think everything has happened by chance, right? Sure. Well, your character, you're very romantic at heart, and you believe in these. I will types say things. that the day I met Judd Apatow uh, changed my life. I don't know if that was chance or fate. Uh, we'll call it fans. Fans. Yeah. This is cool. This is cool. Okay. I, I used to live in New York City and I would get around by riding a, a skateboard. Yes. And I was barreling down a hill. How'd that go for you? Uh, is this true? Yeah, it's totally true. That's, That's, I, was, I was barreling down, down, uh, down a hill in Brooklyn and I was going to turn onto this other street and there was a guy crossing the street and he was, he, and I was like, no problem, I'll get right around him. And then he like changes his mind, turns around and starts coming back and it was too late and I slammed into him and scared the heck out of them. Of course. <laughs> I call that chance. I do too. I have a good getting hit by something story as well. Go for it. Uh, so I drive a Vespa, or I used to. I don't anymore. And I, do, like, I do currently. That sounds do like yeah. there might be a balancing issue. I'm like, well, I'm like eight inches too tall for a Vespa. So when I get to a red oh, light, I, so I kind of I kind of stand like this and let the Vespa you know, rest between my legs. And I'm standing at the red light, and all of a sudden I hear like, and boom. I get hit, but because I'm so tall, the Vespa just shot out from between my legs, and I was just left standing like this, like Wiley e. Coyote, with no Vespa. <laughs> I swear to God. It's a great stance, though. So, boys and their toys. In the film, you buy a Porsche. Surprise. <laughs> I know neither one of you are at that age yet where you would be hitting midlife crisis, but what do you foresee? if you ever did yourselves buying. Here's what I would buy, or what I might buy yeah. when I have a midlife crisis. Yes. One of those, I don't know what it's called, but it's this <laughs> thing, it's this backpack that you put on and it has a giant propeller on it, and, and, then, and, you, and then you have a, uh, like a parachute paraglider thing, <laughs> and you can literally fly around in it. Like, uh, like it gives you the gift of flight. <laughs> And I am definitely getting that when I have a midlife crisis, not a day before. So what would your, what would your midlife crisis? I would probably just donate everything to charity because I want people to be happy. So you're gonna make me cry, which leads me into I cried in the film. What was the last movie you two cried in? Together? Not together, <laughs> yes, together. Here's the thing that happens to me all the time in movies, is I, with, with, towards the end of a movie, I inevitably yawn, not necessarily because I'm bored or just because I'm. It's usually at night, and I'm I, I'm an early riser. I'm probably a little tired. I yawn. When I yawn, I also tear up. Right. And then it doesn't matter if I just walked out of like, you know, Anchorman or something. <laughs> I still have like teared. My eyes are teared up, and people are like, "Aw, did you? <laughs> Aw, yeah. I'm so so sorry that that this." ridiculous movie made you cry. I like when I get on a plane to have a glass of wine. And at one point, uh, I had a few glasses of wine and the altitude got the best of me. And I was, I was watching Bride Wars. And uh, 
I started like crying uncontrollably and it just wouldn't stop. Like it, uh, it was like crying the way a little kid cries when they hit their head, just like <laughs> sobbing. And the person next to me was like, what is he watching? The Bride Wars? And I just, I cried for like 35 minutes. On that note, I'm gonna go book a flight and I'm taking the two of you with me. We're where going we first class and we're gonna go watch movies. I don't know, wherever you want. But doesn't, the destination is irrelevant. We just wanna watch. Absolutely, we just, we're just like, gonna watch movies and leave like Let's cry movies. together, guys. Let's all. Let's do that.